In the past, I've gone to MLG Anaheim as a full-time player. I got a lot of attention for the shows I did, being very opinionated, uh, having some success at the beginning, but then kind of not necessarily repeating that success. I love this game. I'm doing all kinds of different work for it, but I'm not a full-time player. Fans would uh, be loving, but also pretty harsh, pretty harsh, and, and they'd question my training, and they'd question everything I did, and it kind of sucked. You know, I, it happened because of the attention I got, but it just, it was, it was a tough, rocky road experience. As a player, like, your, your life depends on how you do it at these tournaments. I'm now more appreciating the fans and just how incredible MLG's shows are uh, and less worried about how far I go in the tournament. They are loving and supportive, which is really cool. It kind of it feels much more like that experience you have as a player that really carries you forward. They're just so overwhelmingly kind and, and excited to be here that it's infectious and you're really happy about it. When I was on stage having that great match against Illusion, making all kinds of mistakes. Illusion up 53 to 41 in the supply, in control and he needs a miracle to come back in this game. Oh my god, those are five DTs across the map. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, oh, this is going to be huge. There's no detection. They weren't really keying in on the mistakes and they were more excited about the small victories and the, and the nice little things that happened. Update on the DTs, yeah. they're wrecking everything inside Illusion Space. And I felt it, it was really cool. Not only live at the venue, uh, but also all over Twitter, all over Team Liquid, all over Reddit. Lifted it all, oh. but, uh oh, he's moving it from the back yet again. Trying to take down the tanks, that's so important. Four of all, oh, still alive nice. in control. He's up 78 to 48, I don't know how this was possible. GG! What a comeback from in control. Oh my God. And it, it carries me, it makes me feel so good, so loved and supported afterwards that I uh, would have loved to stand in front of that audience and have, you know, have them cheer with, with the victory on my back. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't go that way, but I felt really good about it, I guess what I'm saying. It's because of the support I got. Without you guys, I wouldn't have this job. I wouldn't be where I'm at, and I wouldn't have the opportunities that I've had to travel the world to see new people and, and to get to do these things. So. My final word would just be a big shout out to everyone that made this experience so awesome and positive for me. There was countless messages on Twitter all the way up until my last match about just, you know, we love you anyways, good job, something to be proud of. At the end of the day, if it's ever in question that I, I take it for granted, please know I'm thankful and please know that MLG Anaheim will go down as one of my best events, not because I did the best competitively, but because I felt amazing the entire time because of you guys.